Hey guys, Jags97 here and welcome to my Minecraft 1.3 update overview. In this video I'm just be showing you some of the new features that have been added and changed in the latest Minecraft update. So, without further ado, let's get started. You can now open up your single player world for other players to join by simply clicking open to LAN and then start LAN world. You can also change settings for other players such as game mode and allow cheats on and off. Cheats have now been added to the game, allowing you to do stuff like slash time set and slash game mode. Ooh, there have been some changes to the world creation screen. You can now have a world type called large biomes which in some cases makes makes biomes three times larger. You can allow cheats on and off and there's also an option for a bonus chest. And the bonus chest helps you get started quickly by providing a chest in game as soon as you spawn, like so filled with various items. These items are random so you could have like, a stone pickaxe, some wooden logs or just what I've got here. Cocoa beans can now be planted and harvested on jungle logs. They yield when fully ripe about three cocoa beans on average. A new currency has been added into the game called emeralds. The ore can be found in hill areas and looks like this and can be used to trade with NPC villagers. So let's go to him. Let's see. So we've got three emeralds for some leather pants. So if I get three emeralds, and God damn it, where are you? There we go. Get three emeralds and trade with them. Leather pants. They will sometimes release like a purple glowing stuff, and then if you click on them again, here you go, like so, you can trade with them again. With something for the, with something different. If you don't want to trade, you can always make them into emerald ore blocks and look like this. It's made in the simple 3x3 three three pattern, like most of ores. Temples have now been added, in, added into the game. As you can see here, here is a desert or sand temple. There is also a jungle equivalent, but they, temples are actually extremely rare. Um, they're really just mainly for show, but however, if you destroy the blue one in the middle, there is four chests here containing random loot however the one thing you don't want to do fall onto this as you can see here and of course pretty much most of the loot will be destroyed drip wires have been added into the game these can mainly be found as traps in uh, jungle temples if you place down string it's basically used as the wire that connects them and walking over it will trigger redstone you can either use it for a lovely note block or for some evil lovely TNT traps. You can now obtain experience ores by mining ores and extracting smelted stuff like ingots and everything like that from furnaces. The experience level you need for enchanting has been lowered from 50 to 30 and they've also changed the way enchanting tables work by when you have enough bookshelves there will always be a level 30 enchantment on the bottom no matter how many times you put it in so there's no more searching for the top enchantment uh, the middle one will always stay between 10 and 20 around there and the top one will always be the lowest with like 5, 9, 7 so it will always be less than 10 between 10 and 20 and always 30 you can now craft ender chests which are kind of like normal chests they, they have the same storage capacity as one chest but put something in one ender chest place another and open it and it's the same inventory so it just it's a way of long distance storage I guess you could say. You can now place stairs and levers up on upside down blocks so you can place it there, flick the switch and place it there. Items will now stack when thrown on the floor so just throw a nice big pile of them as you can see they all clump together into one nice neat stack. Wooden blocks can now be placed pretty much any direction so if you, whichever direction you want they act their physics are rather like pistons so whichever direction you're facing you can place them so you're facing this way so they go like that facing this way like that and if you jump there you go a new game mode has been added called adventure game mode this can be done by doing slash game mode two and then your name so like that the game mode has been changed and in this game mode you can't do anything you, you literally can't even place down blocks However, you can do stuff like flicking levers. Uh, they have plans for being able to modify blocks which you can destroy. So, like, say, you can destroy gravel or something like that or clay. 
just like so it's easily modifiable and you don't need the rules saying don't destroy so and so blocks or don't do so and so. The gravel texture has actually now been changed from its old, it's not much of an improvement but still physics are all the same so falls everything everything is the same apart from its texture a new creative mode menu has been added as you've probably seen throughout this video uh, there are now special tabs for each one so you got building blocks decoration uh, miscellaneous transportation brewing so all sorts of things and you can also search items. so you've also got the whole list of everything and you can search through so say if I wanted discs or dispensers I could use that if I wanted some redstone stuff here you go that's all there you can also go to your survival in inventory and dispose of stuff and equipped arm equip armor as well the crafting recipe for a book has now been changed to include leather and the new and the new crafting recipe is this you can also create an editable book by placing a book an ink sack and a feather in a crafting table in this sort of format the book and quill can now be used to i guess you could say write messages so maybe to other players or something like that you could do anything you want the maximum as far as I know is 45 pages uh, so you just do hello world then you could sign it off as whatever you want to call it so hello sign and close after you've signed and closed it it will not be editable but you can read through it and flick through the pages if you have multiple when possible mine carts and boats will now be dispensed on water and uh, rail cards. This is only when it's possible, when the rail cart is coming right at the dispenser or the dispenser is right next to water. There is also a chance for zombie pigmen to, I guess you could say, travel through the nether portal into the real world. This only works when you're on either easy, normal or hard. Not peaceful. Hey guys, so I hope you enjoyed that little video. It was just quickly showing some of the updates that they've added. As you can see here, this is the Minecraft launcher I have, and these are all the updates. And literally, I, I'm classing this as an adventure update too, definitely, because I actually I think they added more stuff in this than they did in the adventure update original at 1.8. Um, so I, I've managed, I've tried as hard as I can to cover most of the stuff. Most of the stuff left that is, is just bug fixes, um, little things like if you're not a premium user, you can now play a demo, which lasts for about five day Minecraft days, I think. But of course, as I was scrolling through, there's always going to be one thing, and what would a Minecraft uh, what would a Minecraft update be without removing Herobrine? And as you can probably see at the bottom here, it just says dash removed Herobrine. That is ever in the game though. But anyway, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Can't wait for the next Minecraft update. Um, I wonder if they're going to be doing snapshots of it or at least pre-releases. But anyway, hope you guys enjoy this. I have got a little video coming up. The next upload will be a little treat for you guys. Um, anyway, so hope you guys enjoyed this and see you in the next one.